Hey Greens, before we begin, I wanted to let you know that this weekend, it's over. This weekend is the last weekend that you can grab the limited edition, you did it wrong, merch. So if you're interested, I'll leave all the information in the description box below. I will not sell this design again, so if you do like it, make sure you grab one because once it's gone, it's gone forever. You've all been waiting for this. I'm going to be reviewing the Elves box, which is a subscription box by the company Sophie and Toffee. I've mentioned Sophie and Toffee multiple times before. They're my go-to place for craft supplies when it comes to resin and little miscellaneous stuff. So they sent me their premium. Look at that, it's so shiny. I just got distracted. Their regular box is $35 US and shipping international is included for free. If you remember, or if you haven't seen, last week I reviewed a new upcoming craft kit called Kawaii Crafts. After you watch this video, feel free to check it out. I'll leave the link in the description box below as well. But this box here is not $35. It is in fact $49 because it's supposed to be an upgrade from the original box. Our job is to find out, is it really? This week's shoutouts go to Silver Ghost, Christina Bosnes, and Six Crazy Cats. If you want a shout out in my Friday videos, don't forget to hashtag Nerdification Squad in the comment section below within the first 45 minutes of a video's release, or hashtag NerdyCrafter on Instagram or Twitter anytime with any of your creations. Time to see what we get inside. I really do need a new Exacto. It's like, it's, it's, it's broken. All right, moment of truth. And make it. That is so adorable. Pocket monsters. <gasps> I'm sensing, hopefully, some kind of fandom. I'm hoping. So this is the March Elves box, which again includes everything from the normal subscription box, and it has two to three more items. Oh, there's a coupon. And here are the exclusive items. And then we have the premium items in here as well. Oh, <gasps> gummy resin. Like, I have goose. Why do I always get goosebumps? I'm such a chicken. Okay. Oh my god. This, it's like this box is made for me. One of the many things that I love about Sophie and Toffee is that they are a company that takes their feedback from their customers and improves on themselves. And many times, too, I've had conversations with them and I've told them about things that you grains didn't like and they try to adapt and change things to make it a more complete Kit. I have a lot of respect for companies that are able to do that. So here are the items we get in the normal $35 box. Two part epoxy resin crystal, which means that it should be extremely clear. Two colors for the resin, one in apple and the other one yellow. Food grade shaker oil. If you're wondering what we can do with any of this stuff, don't worry. I'm gonna put a little video on the screen right now. The idea behind this box is that you're able to make this project, but we're going to just look over the items right now and, and maybe do a project after. All right, I am really super mega hyper giga excited about these. So we have two Hamagachi molds. So we have one in this shape here. Look at the buttons. And we have one with cute little dangly ears, which could kind of resemble a Pikachu kind of ear, maybe, I don't know. Okay, let's appreciate this packaging because this packaging is gorgeous. And look at that, a little, a little slidey. And it's so soft too. <gasps> Why? Why are these things so soft? Little Pac-Man made out of clay. So these are already hardened, they're already baked, so you can use them as little shaker things. Also kind of in the same way as Pac-Man-ish, we have these little monster stickers, which I am, again, in love with. We also have some, they call them burst stars, and this is like a confetti. They're really pretty. It's like sunshine in a star. Wait, stars are suns. <laughs> we also get two containers of hexagonal iridescent glitter, one in a kind of copper and the other one in a turquoise. Four beads. Oh, that is so cool. It's been a while since I've seen these, but they're backings that you can glue behind your projects to make them into necklace or keychains. And then they have a uh, salt ton of eye pins and some keychain findings. But that is not all. This is the clear plastic that you get for the Pocket Monster Shaker Charm, which we're gonna do a little project. And last but not least, we get this little syringe for the oil. And that is everything in the normal $35 craft subscription box. So last week's box was good value. The Sophie and Toffee box is great value. 
And as I had mentioned in the other one, is they kind of have a similar feel, but the vibe is totally different. So I feel like in here you can see the kind of crafts you're getting and the kind of items you're getting. When compared to the other boxes, the one by Kawaii Craft Kits, you can see the kind of items that were included in their bezel, their bezel box. And now for the items that come in the premium upgraded set, so you're paying $14 more for these items. The first one is a UV LED gummy resin. I've been waiting for this for a long time. And the idea is you can harden this resin and then it's kind of like a gummy consistency so you can cut it up and make it into any shape you want. And that alone, as you can see, is worth almost $22. So almost that item in itself kind of pays for the extra upgrade. But we're getting more. We get a UV light stand. And if you've seen any of my UV resin projects, you know that this is almost exclusively what I use because I hate using a little flashlight and just stand there and you're like, I know I'm exaggerating. Oh, look. <clears throat> oh the salt don't rise. I'm not gonna open this box, but this is essentially what it looks like. Looks like a little spaceship kind of thing. You open it, the light is there, and you just press the light in the back and you leave it. If it tries to walk away, I don't know. Stay. And last but not least, we have a craft buffer which feels like sandpaper or a nail file. And the fun thing about this box, again, this review is making me so happy. Salt is, is kind of on the side for now. We do get exclusive items. So items that are exclusive to this box, it, it's pretty cool because then you can make those projects and enjoy them knowing you are you. I really do think it's a great idea that they moved from having the premium box as its own box with completely different material than the original box to switching it up and making it the exact same thing as the original box but with upgrades. I mean it's a lot less work for them. But also you don't have to buy two separate boxes. I personally would most definitely buy this box. There's just so much to do and so much playability for us adult grains. Remember, resin is not for children. The other thing I really like about the Sophie and Toffee Instagram is that it's pretty complete within itself. So if you're a beginner getting this box, you know exactly what to expect and also you can see the projects being made. So they have little mini tutorial videos for each of their boxes. And if they don't specifically have a mini tutorial for their box, they also have other YouTubers do the tutorials for them. So they'll link it and let you know exactly where you can find resources in case you're not sure. And those other videos can be found on their website. I know it's a small detail, but one of the things I want to tell Sophie and Toffee is that thank you for improving the sticker quality on the packaging because as you can see here, they are firmly sitting on the plastic. So this here is my setup. Normally you should be using the two-part epoxy resin which means you pour A and B, mix it all up, then you put your color, and then you pour it in the project. The wait time for that is generally anywhere between 6 hours to 24 hours, depending on your environment, humidity levels, and heat. But since I, I don't want to wait, don't be a Jackie, I'm going to be using UV resin instead. Because if you use UV resin instead, it's going to be actually more expensive. So you're, you're wasting more money if you're using UV resin versus epoxy resin. So what I decided to do was put a little bit of the UV resin in the buttons, harden that, and then mixed my UV resin with Perlex powders or mica powders. They give it such a gorgeous kind of sheen to it. They look like little galaxies on the inside. And then I hardened them under the light for about 5-6 minutes each. I love the colors. I pretty much just copied what Sophie and Toffee did, except I did it with UV resin. And interestingly enough, as you can see here, the UV resin shrank. I had no idea that UV resin would shrink like this. That's really cool, but interesting at the same time. For science! Okay, let's unmold this. Oh, it's very matte, so I might have to give it a glaze of resin just to get it shiny again. And now for the second one, I'll be putting the glaze of resin off camera just so that I don't waste your time. 
That is so cute. I love the fact that the little buttons stick out. That is just absolutely adorable on so many levels. So now what's left to do is to put our little decoration stickers and little Pac-Man things and the little glitter. And then we have to put the plastic thing on the outside. I really wish they gave us a measurement or maybe a template of what size it needs to be so that way I can minimize the wastage. And here is the project. It is absolutely adorable. I like to keep th keep 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 things simple. English number one. Yay! So I don't tend to put too many things inside the projects. But if you like to put all the things, go ahead and do that. So the idea behind the shaker charm is you shake and things move around. But since it's way too fast, I'm just gonna tap it and you can see things move. Pac-Man, did you get stuck? There we go. And then we have the one with the little bunny ears or, or space <gasps> Pikachu, whatever you want to call it. And again, why is my Pac-Man stuck? My Pac-Man at some point got a little stuck and that's because I used UV resin, so it's still a little tacky. If your UV resin is a little tacky, just put it on the windowsill and it'll harden and stop being sticky. Of these two designs, which one is your favorite? With the ears or without the ears? I kind of like them both for different reasons. Also, little side note, on the plastic thing, there's a film. Make sure you remove from both sides, otherwise it's going to be foggy. So now the question is, is the Sophie and Toffee box worth it if you're in the market for a craft subscription box? And the answer is very simple for me, heck yeah. The other question, is the Sophie and Toffee premium box worth it? Simply put, it depends. With the Sophie and Toffee main box, you are getting a project that you can put together. With the premium option, you're getting craft items that are from Japan, for the most part, and you get to dabble in new kind of material. Personally, for me, I love crafting and I love trying new things, so the premium box seems like the perfect kind of box for me. Whereas someone who's still a beginner and not sure what they want to touch, the main box is definitely a good start. So if you feel like you have a little more experience, especially the premium as an upgrade, as opposed to a completely separate box, that I can recommend full-heartedly. This video is not sponsored, they just sent it to me for a review. I have nothing negative to say about this box. It was so fun. I was really into the project. So if you want more information, I'll leave it in the description box below. And don't forget, this weekend is the last weekend my merch is out. Limited edition, no reprint. After that, I'm going to stop annoying you because we're going to just go back to no merch. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching my little grains. If you want to watch a salty video, check it out up here because wasn't that salty. And if you want to watch a crafty video, make sure you check down here. Until then, I will see you in the next video.